of this video is to show how I utilize my Actea Neutron handpiece along with my HVE, my low volume suction, and my hand mirror at the same time during an adult prophylaxis. First thing I like to do is check my water level in my tank to make sure I have adequate enough amount of water. I also like to make sure that my water is turned just slightly to the right. So we don't need a lot of water and I like my dial to be between three and four. This is the range that I like to work at. So what I do is I take my HVE and I hold it between my thumb and my index finger with the lever closest to my thumb. I then take my hand mirror and I place it between my index finger and my middle finger and I also use my ring finger as a rest. This way I'm able to move the mirror back and forth as needed where I get better vision. I also like to make sure the mirror is just slightly higher than the tip of the HVE. This way I have a good clear view of my mirror and as the tip is slanted it also helps keep moisture off of my mirror if there is any. I also like to use the three and a half inch HVE tip and when I do use it in a patient's mouth I like to make sure that the back end of the tip is closest to the tissue either near the buckle or I'll turn it if depending on what lingual I'm using so the flatter long side is closest to the tongue. I don't like the shorter side of the HVE to be near the tissue because this way you can get some of the tissue sucked into the HVE tip and you don't want to do that. So I like to keep mine away from the tissues. So after again, after I place this between my thumb and my index and I place my mirror again, index middle and ring finger, I take my low volume suction and I like to put a little bend in it. So as I turn it into the patient's mouth, I have an area where it can rest on the patient's lip. And then I like to place the tip towards the back of the mouth. This is for collecting water and saliva. So while this is going in the mouth, I'll have free range of motion with my dominant hand with my neutron handpiece. This works great for lower anterior linguals. Also, I'll retract the mirror if I'm going to be doing cross arch on linguals or buckles, or if I'm using it on the same side as my non-dominant hand on the lower buckles, I can retract with my HVE. And then when needed for indirect vision, I can just bring my mirror back up and then I have indirect vision as needed. This method works great for me. I think it's the most effective, um, not only cost effective wise, but also I don't have any hand fatigue, it's easy, it makes the profi treatment um, a lot easier for me to do.